There's my little green tree python I got the other day. It's not green yet when they're youngins. They are yellow or red. And as they said, they turn green. I'm actually gonna be getting two adult ones so I can breed them this season. But anyway, this video today is gonna to be the fourth episode of the Brisbane River Bull Shark Challenge. Got the boat ready to go. I've got some family from down south up with us. They're gonna be tagging along. Got this go-kart here. I'm gonna be doing a video in a week's time. I'm gonna be taking that to a test and tune day. And then the following weekend's gonna be a race day. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. But yeah, got the boat going to the normal space, well, the place in West End using half a mullet, normal rig from the last videos and hopefully we catch something, so. All right guys, once again, it's pretty windy. So I'm sorry if this is gonna be a bit of a noisy video. That's all we do, it's a fresh uh, piece of mullet from the fish market. If you go to the right place, you can just pick one up for three bucks, so it's pretty cheap. Just cut it in half, chuck the hook up through the mouth there, and chuck it out, and we're good to go. All right, this is our first run. It's been about 20 Monday minutes. Morning. Yeah, he's on. Oh! All right, guys, this is a good sign. This is a really good sign. Holy moly. All right, so I've got the drag set at 50%. And that's what it was set to when we caught the meter 75 one. And that just went off screaming. Hasn't really done that before when it's been set to this tight of a drag, so. No guarantees it's gonna be massive because I've definitely been wrong before, but. Might be in with a, uh, a bigger shark this time, which is what we're looking for. All right, so I'm just putting this belt on. It's gone for about three little runs now, and it swam back towards us quite quickly, just like that. You really don't want to lose that tension, because if you do, there's a good chance it can spit the hook. You have your phone, Ash? Now this is um, fairly close to the boat, Hopefully we can get a, uh, a glimpse of it before it takes another run. Holy moly. Cool, it's heading back. Heading down river now. Oh, keeps shaking his head quite a lot. Yeah, it's a bull shark, all right. That's that shake. Just when we get to the boat, guys, if someone can hang on to the rod while I um, try and grab the line, just because if I have to let go, I don't want the rod shooting off into the water. All right, so we might be having it come up here in a second. Once we start seeing that leader. Ooh, shit, there's the leader. Right here. Come on, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, it's not, it's not, not as big as, as, as I thought. thought. No. Well, there you go. It is a fat one, though. It looks like he had a bit of girth on him. Oh, he's a good size. Alright. Make some sting out of him. the chunkiest one we've gotten so far. Not magic. Oh no. It's puffed up its guts. So you can see there, but that's pretty sure that's its stomach. So I'm gonna try and get rid of this as quick as possible. Um can I have the bolt cutters? Try and cut it. Yep. Oh. Mm. Yeah. All right, guys. So I feel a little bit bad. Sometimes when they're super spooked and overexerted, they can apparently. I think.
think I, like, I'm trying to remember what I read, but apparently they can, um, bring up their guts or something, so clearly that was the case here, and, um, we just got it back into the water as soon as possible. Well, it definitely wasn't the longest one we caught. That thing was super round, like, it had a lot of girth to it, so I reckon that probably would have been a female. Um, but yeah, we'll, um, we'll re-rig this and get it back out there and try and catch another one. Doing a bit of lure fishing on the side. Tight's currently changing now, which is a bit of a pain. But um, yeah, it's been about half an hour, 45 minutes since the last run. Hopefully we can get another one before we have to head in. All right, so I just did some research and apparently them pretty much vomiting up their stomach uh, is something, I can't remember the scientific name, but pretty much it's actually a normal thing for them to do in high stress situations or if they need to cleanse out their stomach because they've got I think something like they said particles or something like that I can't remember what it said but pretty much it was it's a normal thing and apparently they can retract the stomach back in within a matter of seconds so a shark's not gonna die it's kind of it looks worrisome but yeah. apparently it's not that bad yeah. all right so we're on to round two the tide's just been changing we got Ashton up to it. Alright, so yeah, don't don't try and wind the bed anymore because you've got that um that island right there. So Kira, if you wanna come around the side here. So, that's why I gotta wear a glove. I, I felt that a lot. I really burnt through there and just took off. Yeah, you need to turn around so I can pull the rod there. It's tiring. You did the front, yeah, move it, move it. Alright, yeah, tighten up. Yeah. He's got some fight. He does. He's got a bit, bit of ground to get that bulk cutters. Don't get him in the boat. Yeah, sure. That's a good size sharky shark. Alright, get the bulk cutters. So that'll be about a meter and a meter ten long. Yeah, he's got a lot of fight. So you're getting low as I can on that hook. He's up. So that's that's all of our bait used up. As you can see, the um, there's like that blackness, like it literally burnt through the glove. As you can see, it's so important wearing the glove. You can see the how the um, top layer of the glove has come off onto this. That hurt. That burnt my finger. As you can see there, it's a little bit burnt, but just goes to show you how you really need to use a glove. And just goes to show you, that thing had a lot of fight in it, and that's the smallest one we've caught on this rod. But gee, it had a lot of go in it, and um, yeah, it's good fun. So that's, that's it for today. We're going to wrap it up there. All right, so that wraps up episode four of the Brisbane River Bull Shark Challenge. I reckon that was a pretty, I reckon that was a pretty successful session. They were only out there for about two hours and we ended up catching two sharks. Really important guys, if you're doing that kind of fishing, especially targeting sharks over a meter, to have those gloves, because I was wearing the glove and it burnt my finger. So if I wasn't wearing the gloves, that would have really, really hurt. Um, other than that, I think the next uh, Brisbane River Bull Shark video will be out at Pinkamba, which is the mouth of the river. You can catch tiger sharks, uh, you can also get like hammerheads. So it won't just be uh, bull sharks for targeting out there. So stay tuned for that. Next weekend, like I was saying before, I'm going to be taking the go-kart out. Um, I will have a video uploaded next week for that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, sorry if it was windy, but um, that's how it is in the Brisbane River. Hope you have a good day. See you next time.